Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a love reading for the Aquarius. So this is going to go from March to April, okay? To early April, March, the month of March to early April. How does the person that you're coming to this reading for, how do they feel about you? Um, I want to say thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's get into the reading, okay? Um, let's get into some past energy with this person. Or just if you were single, let's see what was going on here. The past energy for Aquarius, the Aquarius Collective, the past energy, okay? And now let's get into the present. Oh, came right out. The present energy. And now we have the future energy. What's the future energy for Aquarius? Okay, very nice. So the past energy is the king of fire. Okay. The present energy is the four of water. And the future, wow, is the queen of fire. So you have a pair. King and queen. You guys could be married or you were married. There's someone who matches your energy here. There's an offer being made between the two of you presently. But one of you is skeptical about taking it, is hesitant, is still looking at what was and not what is, not having this change of journey, change of home, could be for some of you, not taking to the offer of stability, because we know the fours talk about stability, home, family, mother energy, motherly children foundation not taken to this firm foundation not seeing the possibilities here one or the both of you both of you are very dynamic in your own right the both of you are coming up as fire signs so you you're you're active you're active in the world you're active with people you get a lot of attention. This this guy knows a lot of people. He knows how to organize people. He knows how to get things done. He knows how to um, structure for other people. That's interesting. Structure in organization. In an organization. Okay. This woman is outgoing. She does a lot. She's charismatic. People... A gravitate toward her she's funny she's of course very attractive let's see what's going on here at the bottom of the deck you have a fool card there's an offer not the offer is one that circumstances universe divinity manifestation has brought about the four of cups it's time for a more stable offer here but are you willing to release the past or are you trying to have a reunion with the past it says here with the fool at the bottom of the deck you or your person, Aquarius, needs to take a leap of faith in a new direction, a new development. New. This is starting over. The clean slate. Will you accept the offer? Will you start over? Let's see how the person who you're coming to the reading for, let's see how they feel about you. For some of you, you're dealing with new people. Some of you, you may have a return of an old person. 
it's totally up to you if you want to take to that you know because free will i think people will rely heavily on these cards to tell them what to do and that's to take all responsibility out of you know your actions your life no you're still responsible for your own life the cards say you should move to california but you don't have to it's up to you all right so how does your person feel about you how's the per how does aquarius person feel about them what are their feelings toward them how do they feel about them what are the feelings toward aquarius okay what are the feelings toward aquarius okay well, okay so we have the chariot now the five of cups so the person that maybe you're here for and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. They feel like this was an unexpected lucky change. For some of them, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer is here. Cancer is here also. Uh, yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or Fire sign. You got Fire in your chart, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, Gemini, Aries, okay. This person could want to move things forward with you, right? But they feel like the whole relationship, how, how they even met you was chance, was luck. So they're having this feeling of worrying that things won't turn out in the best manner possible. It won't turn out how they pictured, how they expected that they'll be disappointed or um, heartbroken in some fashion. Your person is also hesitating or they feel like, because this is their feelings toward you, they feel like you're hesitating to make some necessary change. There's hesitation here. But altogether, they feel very lucky, fortunate for meeting you. They feel like luck is on their side. They didn't they knew that they were lucky, but they didn't control how luck happened for them. But with you, they f in finding you, they felt very lucky. Okay? How does Aquarius feel about this person? How does Aquarius feel about this person? The Three of Pentacles, okay. The Queen of Wands again, okay. So, let's get one more. Hmm. Queen of Cups, jeez. So Aquarius, you feel like you want to go after this person. You want to put the time, the energy, effort into wooing them, into pursuing them, into getting them to partner with you, to recognize your worth or your value. You want the opportunity to offer your cup of love. The Queen of Cups holds her cup. It's not given yet, but it is there for the extension. So you want the opportunity to extend your love. You feel like you have a right balance of what it is they need to be drawn to you. Some of you can feel like this person has another person. And it's going to have to be a choice made. Some of you feel like this is just a long-term affair. No choice will be made. What's the Four of Cups? The Three of Swords. Yeah, someone's needing to heal 
from heartbreak, forgive themselves, forgive other people. Know that this is the time of maybe separation, divorce, getting over the breakdown in communication. Maybe there could be also a breakdown in communication. Yeah, something is final. Someone's not taking to an offer. This could be a person from the past. This could be someone who did hurt you or vice versa. You hurt them. Seven of Pentacles, but someone is looking back at you, valuing the relationship, valuing what you had, valuing what you could have had. This is the shoulda, coulda, woulda here. Someone is looking at how it ended, how it's over. How maybe you've gone to the next chapter, the next phase in your life. Aquarius, you've moved on. You've accomplished something or you are accomplishing this person could be looking in on you and wishing and hoping or more so moping in the shoulda coulda wouldas i don't think this person treated you right when they had you I think they they just walked all over you. The nine of swords, temperance, the eight of wands, lovers. The devil under the deck. Someone wants to come back and salvage a relationship. And it may be an opportunity for you guys to come back together. You'll meet some chance meeting. Uh, there's a choice to be made. I don't. It says caution though. Make sure that whatever you choose is not leading you back down that dead end. Back down to feeling trapped, closed. Empty, desperate, destitute. The tower card. This is definitely a person from the past, some or, or someone you have a significant history with. Something about the relationship resurfaces. Um, yeah, something about the connection resurface and um, it brings down an already faulty relationship. What you thought you got past comes back again and you have to deal with it. Hopefully you'll deal with it from the ground up, from the root. You'll get to the root of the matter, right? Eight of Pentacles. Someone wants to put the work in, wants to rebuild, wants to just buckle down. Someone is waiting for perfect timing to come in to you and talk to you and try to restore and reestablish. Someone want yeah, someone wants to communicate with you. Yep. Definitely wants to tell you something. For some of you, there's some new relationship that's getting serious. And there might be someone who is kind of blocking. This could be a masculine energy blocking the connection because it's getting serious very quickly. And it's kind of putting someone in a place of discomfort, but still being very pleased with the union, with the connection. But... How things are going so fast it's it's uncomfortable it's um unfamiliar so someone kind of pumps the brakes yeah someone wants to move in together get engaged yeah wants to get married definitely wow this is all they fantasize about with you
Aquarius, this is interesting. What's the advice for the Aquarius? Is this a... What's the advice for a past person coming back? Advice for the past person coming back. If there's a past person coming into Aquarius life, Page of Fire. Okay, so they're going to present some interesting um, opportunity to take things in a new direction. Wow. Maybe that they want to propose to you. They want to move in with you. They want to do something monumental. Something that they can build upon. What's the advice for Aquarius? The Eight of Air. Um... Make sure this is not a cycle, a negative one at that, that will have you feeling trapped, stuck, bound mentally first before physically. Eight of Water. Make sure this, this connection is what you want and it's on your path, that it is that meaningful, more spiritual relationship. Make sure it is that. Ten of Air, Nine of Air. Don't be afraid to end something, okay? Don't be afraid to rest in knowing that the end the worst of things is over come out of mental anxiety about this old person did we say oh yeah this person wants to build with you like they want to they're making long-term plans in regards to being with you while wow, two cups at the bottom of the deck they feel like this is a successful a successful union they want this they they dream about it they think about it they fantasize about it they know that they've caused you a lot of hurt and pain in the past which now translates into mental anxiety of them returning it turns you into a nervous wreck because you don't know what they are in your life for but the cards say that this person may have that heart in their hand they have good intentions it's really up to you if you want to take to it tell us about this new person lord god thank you the new person for aquarius what's the advice for the new person in regards to aquarius okay four of cups okay so someone may not be seeing the possibilities here in which they may be letting an opportunity pass them by. An opportunity to have a change of journey or home. Um, someone wants to stay on that same path of getting nowhere. Um, do know that this could be a reliable friend for you. Someone that could be like family. This new person. If um, you guys can get past this energy know that this is they are or you are for them a wish fulfilled it says make a wish it could very well come true Aquarius in regards to this new person it says the nine of spades it says that you're having a lot of mental anxiety a lot of frustration sleepless restless nights um, just low energy altogether Three of Spades says that there could be divorce or separation pending, but that just could have been heartbreak here in which you need to allow yourself healing, either for you or the other person. Healing and then restoration here. Healing and then restoration. It says the Seven of Spades. It says that you're going to put down um, a carried burden. Like you're going to release burdens here okay you're going to release burdens in a relationship it, it could be romantic it can be platonic it can be familiar um it says that there could be an offer coming in from someone but make sure that this offer is um, feasible for you, that it is right for you, that it is what you want for yourself. King of why the King of Wands in two different decks now. This person, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or Cancer, male, could be very indecisive. There's in indecision. There's obstacle. There is hurdle here. 
mentally. But they want to offer you love while they want to home with you. They regret not saying things to you because they understand that it puts you in a place of just not knowing. And then that puts you in a place of not being focused on. They feel like you are the, could be the perfect wife or husband. They feel like change, necessary change, needs to happen here. They want to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. They may have made promises that they didn't keep or they or there was this is a new person, so I don't know if there's infidelity. But once again, they want to have success in home, in marriage, in business. This person wants to make long term plans and then at the bottom of the deck, I can't make this shit up, guys. The bottom of the deck for the old person, the two of cups. The bottom of the deck for the new person, the two of hearts, the two of cups. Like I said in the beginning, it is up to you who you want. You can have the old, you can have the new. It looks like there will be choice choices for Aquarius. You have a choice, which is good. Let's get some angel answers advice for the old person. Be assertive for the old person. Yes. We have a yes answer. We clarify our yes and no answers here. And you're ready. Okay. For the new person. Lord God bless Aquarius with a message for the new person. Oh, wow. It's up to you. Didn't I say that? I've been saying that the whole. It's up to you. It says wait. Wait. Oh, we got no. And we got at the bottom of the deck, unlikely. Okay. All right, so we clarify our yes and no answers here. So let's clarify the yes answer for the old person. Yes, somebody's come out of a what would be a third party situation. They're no longer working with a team or another partner. Wow, they want to offer you love, maybe proposal to come out with them to yeah hang out with them. This could be an emperor like person, Aries or Taurus. From your past that you have a significant history with um they've always been useful and helpful and they always fit in your life so yes for that person um they feel like you're a soulmate or you feel the same way about them it could be mutual okay so for the new person we have it's up to you wait and no okay and what is this no answer What's this no answer? No answer. No answer for the new person. No. Lovers in reverse. So there's not going to be a choice here. Um, there's not going to be a life altering choice. Because it's really up to you. Whatever you want to do. Let's see. No. King of swords in reverse. This is a liar. This is a, someone's dominant and out of control. So we have no choice with a liar. A very dominant, overbearing person. Or someone who keeps secrets. Then we have the three of swords upright. There might be a breakdown in communication here. A breakdown in forward movement. You couldn't get past the creation phase. In the Knight of Swords in reverse. So there might not even be communication anymore. Um, it's definitely not hostile. Or, won't, or are these cards saying no. Keep in mind we have the no here. No life altering choice with a liar. Or someone who plays mental games. 
No heartbreak, three of swords. No breakdown in communication. No lack of communication because it's the nine of swords in reverse is no communication. No. No laying down of burdens here or no delegating or asking for help. The tower in reverse, so no. Okay, that card just flipped out. No um, disaster here. I think you're going to avoid it. And no justice either. So something just doesn't come together. Somebody is being real slick. They're choosing to promote themselves. They're playing mental mind games here. To be just deception altogether. Seven of Cups in reverse. That's a good card to have in it. This one, maybe they're not choosing. Maybe this person has got some secret plan to propose to you. Seven Pentacles in reverse. Gee, I don't know what this is saying. You have the Chariot, the Five of Cups, and Six of Pentacles. So. Something didn't work out how someone thought it would, but that is okay. Um, no mourning. It's going to be fast movement to a more suitable, stable, balanced relationship. For you, Aquarius, you're going to come out of that untraditional way of living. You're going to come out of negative thinking and cyclical thinking. Someone you're dealing with is not going to be so forward anymore. I mean, I don't know. This is interesting, Aquarius. Okay, let's get the um, other deck. Let's see. Oh, I haven't used this in a while. Butterfly Oracle deck. Let's see what you should be focused on moving forward Aquarius it looks like you can have either or you know um, old person new person blue person true person I don't know okay what is Aquarius to be focused on in this time of March until early April. Parental care. All right. Leaving. Leaving an old situation behind. Could be actually physically leaving something or some place. Retirement. Well, how, what, how much money do you have saved? Or uh, going into a new career. Going into self-employment. Working less hours but making the same pay. Um, you're going to retire some way of earning income. You have to keep the faith Aquarius at this time. March to April. And you're having body changes here. Listen to your body when it talks. Listen to it when it changes. When you're around certain people, certain places. Your body, your Your reflexes are telling you something, okay? What is this other person that Aquarius has come to the reading for? What are they saying? What's going on with them? What's, I said, what are they saying? What's going on with them? What are they focused on right now? Relationship dynamics. Someone, something has entered, exited the relationship. Making for the dynamic to change. And everyone's feelings who's still left in the relationship or in the aftermath, they feel differently about the situation. So someone is dealing with maybe someone walking away, them walking away from someone. It could be anything. Someone is needing, the other person is needing to take the next step. But they're having memories. Maybe not so good ones. These two just flew out the deck. Well, 
at three. Um, join in. They may need to join in a therapy session, like-minded people, individuals around them, networking, anything like that. Finances are a big factor here with this person moving. But both of you have leaving and moving over. You could be dealing with the same things at the same time. Um, this person has finances and moving. They have dietary change. Change their diet. Or that's you, Aquarius. Looks like there'll be a career change also. But finances are highlighted for your person. Okay, Aquarius, I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. If you feel like you want your own reading like this one, go over to the website and book your reading there. You can book the 20-minute reading. You can book the 60-minute reading. I have phone and video readings. Make sure you click the little drop-down button. It'll give you phone readings, um, email readings, uh, video recorded readings, okay? Make sure you're reading the box below each reading. I think it gives you um, a, a brief description of what's going to happen next, with especially with video recorded readings. If you don't want to go over to the website and book your own reading, you can always text a question or eight to the number below. Um, you can pay for your question all on, all on your mobile device. Uh, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. The number is below. It is a business number. It is not my personal number. It is not my personal number. It is not my personal number. I have to say it three times. Maybe people will get it. Um, it's a business line that allows for texting. And you can text that number. And you can text your question and pay for your question. But it is not a way to schedule appointments. To schedule consultations. To It's not a way to interact with me is strictly for asking questions okay if you want to interact with me my email address is below i do check my emails and i read them all and i respond um people who have gotten readings with me people who have just you know um had correspondence with me back and forth they can tell you they can attest below below in the comment section that i respond i answer it emails I'm pretty quick at it um, things are going to get done okay anyhow take care Aquarius have a really good March uh, this is your love reading looks very good you have options um, and it's all up to you Aquarius whatever you want take care bye